Hey guys, so this video is on how to create index and reflectance maps in PIX40 Mapper. So first thing we wanna do is select new project and then name it. For this example, I'm using June 23rd, 2020 Blue Valley Farms data. So that's what I'm gonna name my file. Then I wanna add my images. So you wanna to go to where your images are located So once I open them, I want to select all of my images. Then I want to press next once I have them all. Once this loads, it'll tell me that it'll give me a warning that the RGB images will be removed. That's okay. Uh, we don't need the RGB images to create the index or, or reflect this map. So we're going to click okay. And this is telling us our image geolocation. It's telling us that only 664 out of 668 geolocated images have been located. That's okay. That's most of them. It will still work. Um, it's telling us our cameras. So we don't need to change anything here. This is telling us our output coordinate system. This is auto-generated from the geolocated drone images that have already been created. So we're good here. Now we want to select Ag Multispectral and press Finish. So at this point, uh, it gives us our processing options. Sometimes it'll automatically start the processing. Uh, if it doesn't, you just press Start. And once I start this process, uh, now it's going to start making the uh, point cloud, the index, and reflectance maps. Um, so this process can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to go completely through. Uh, I'm going to pause the video now and pick up once my images have been uh, processed. So. Okay, so now my uh, all three initial processing stages have been completed. So as soon as you process, it's going to show up in the ray cloud mode. Uh, so this is not really important for index and reflectance maps, but uh, this will be used if you geo-reference in PIX4D, and I'll just talk very briefly about that. Uh, so we would take our cameras off, and you can see all of these ray cloud images. Uh, if I zoom in, these are the different pixels uh, that are created. So if I were to geo-reference an image, I could just click on the image, and then here it'll show you if I press the space bar and uh, hover over the image exactly where this is and where it is geolocated. And the drone is automatically geolocating these images. So that is something you need to know if you're going to georeference. Um, it's not too important for index and reflectance maps, but I just wanted to share that. So then we would go to our index calculator. And here is our index map that's created. Uh, if we want to see just the reflectance map, we just unclick the show index map box and it shows us our reflectance map, uh, which is how much light these different pixels are seeing when, when they hit the ground. Uh, so with our index map on, this is really what we want to see. Our, our color and prescriptions label shows us the pixel value ranges for each different uh, color. Green is the most healthy, and that pixel range is from 0.88 to 0.97. Um, and an MDVI index is only go from negative one to one. And one of the cool things that PIX4D does that other programs don't, is PIX4D will customize the range of your um, pixel values for the index map based on different factors uh, and the area of the farmland that you're looking at. And in this case, our uh, most unhealthy would be the red, and this is pixel values of 0.36 to 0.68. So if we zoom in, we can see areas that are red are unhealthy. Uh, these are areas that would be um, either not growing well or don't have a lot of vegetation on them. And green are healthy farm 
crops. Um, and these bands here that you can see, these are indicating the different bands that the Parrot Sequoia camera has. Um, so now that we have our image successfully generated, we can export it. Uh, you would press export to GeoTIFF or JPEG, and you can uh, also export the colored index map as well as the index values. And these will then show up in your uh, PIX4D settings. So another thing is if you want to upload uh, or export multiple index maps, not just the NDVI index maps, you have to select the index map that you want to uh, look at and generate it. Since you're not generating a whole new pictures or anything like that, and these index maps are already present, it only takes about 15 to 20 seconds to generate, and uh, then I would just go down and export the colored index map. It's important if you are going to use other these images in other softwares, such as uh, QGIS3, if you were to create index maps in that, you would need all of these index map outputs, not just the NDVI one. And actually, if you were doing uh, index maps in QGIS, you don't need NDVI at all. You just need all four different lens index outputs. So you can see I clicked on the green, now I'm red, and I would generate it. And once I generate all these and export them, um, I'm basically done and then I can just go to the Google Drive and uh, import this new image and I'll show you guys how to do that really quickly. So I would go into my folder Um, I would find the image and then I would just export it onto uh, the Google Drive. So that is how you create uh, NDVI index maps in Pix4D Mapper.